and welcome to Photo Education Online. This is Larry Lurcy and I'm going to be giving you a quick introduction into Adobe Camera Raw today. Now whether you want to use RAW files or JPEGs is uh, certainly you could do uh, several different discussions over that whole topic and I'm not going to get into that today. Uh, I'm just going to give you an overview of how it works importing RAW files. So if you've decided to give RAW a try, shot your first session, want to figure out how to get them into Photoshop, uh, I'm going to show you how it works. I'm here in Bridge, I've got some sample images from a session, and one thing you always want to do, at least in my opinion, is make sure that you start out the session with a, a gray card or a white card. Um, and, and what this is going to do is allow us to balance the color once we get into Camera Raw. So I'll always start out with a shot of uh, either a gray card, white card, whatever I have with me. I've got both of them here. And, uh, and that's going to act as our, our gauge for what the colors should be in the image. So then once we decide which one we want, um, let's say we like this last one, number 13. I'm going to hold down Command on the Mac or Control on the PC while I've got that one highlighted and click on this one. So I've got those two highlighted. Then it's just going to be Command R or Control R on the PC. And that's going to bring them into Camera Raw. And uh, what will happen now is you'll see here's our images over here off to the side. First thing we want to do is get the color set. And so what you want to do is make sure you've got the, the one with the card selected and then hit select all. So it's got them all selected but we're still looking at this one. Then all you got to do is go up here to this little eyedropper icon, the third one over right here, the white balance tool. Click on that and then simply click into the gray or the white and you can see it fixes our color. Let me mess up the color here so it starts out crazy. Uh, come and click on the gray. Looks good. You know, you say you messed up the shot, your lighting was way off, you come in, click on it, either one of those, and you got it gets you right in where you want to be. So that's the first step. So, and it will have done that for all the ones, all the images in that series. If you've done different ones, if you did some series in the studio, then you went outside for some, you'll want to import each of those separately with its own gray card following this same procedure. Okay, so I've adjusted the color, and let me click on this file now. Now what I want to do is go through each of these images and fine tune it over here. Now you've got a ton of different things you can do with it, um, all kinds of effects and, and, and things that can be done, but I'm going to focus really on just this very first tab here, the basic stuff, which is going to do the exposure and things. And uh, the biggies that you need to know about the is the exposure right here is your major tweak. That's that's bringing stuff down. You know, sometimes you'll bring one in. For example, if you bring in something that's a, a stop underexposed or something, and it looks like that, and uh, you come in and raise the whole thing up. But exposure is making kind of overall big changes to the image. So a lot of times, what I will do is I will wait um, on exposure and start with the highlights. The highlights were just working on highlight areas in the images or the lighter parts of the image and you can tone those down you can say well I think her foreheads a little hot I can pull that back a little bit and bring in a little bit of that detail back into the forehead then the shadows you can say well I want a little more detail here down in these dark shadowy areas so you can take your shadows and you can darken them or lighten them and again you're just kinda of working with that low end there just to bring in a little more detail like that um, so then once I've got those set, then I'll go into my exposure and, and tweak it up or down a little bit until it's at a level I like. I kind of like that right there about 0.2. And um, you can certainly go in, tweak some of these other settings, uh, go with the clarity, which will kind of bring out a little more of the detail in things. The only other tab I will ever go to in here is up here, the third one over. It's just detail, it's just your sharpening. If you've got one that maybe it was a sports event or something that you know is a little soft or you just uh, want to give it a little more uh, sharpness, sometimes you can come in here to this little sharpening tab and, and add a little bit there. But uh, certainly is not critical. A lot of that can be done later in Photoshop. So the main thing I'm working on is those right there. Once you've got those settings how you want them, uh, you've got your color balance all set, you just hit open image, it will bring it into Photoshop and there you go. Now the image is, is ready for you to be to, to work on it and uh, do whatever else needs to be done. So that's just kind of again a quick overview into how Camera Raw works. Hope that helps. If you have any questions be sure and let me know and I hope you'll check back for more tutorials. Bye-bye.